Dave here, how are you? If you have an Avid CNC, you may want to think about switching out your pinion gear on the stepper motors. This is something that should be done as regular maintenance every six to 12 months. All right, this is running along that rack and the, this pinion gear is the thing that ends up wearing, which will end up giving you a little bit of slop. So to keep it accurate, you got to do this. This bolt connects the whole assembly to the gantry, either above the gantry or beside it. So there's the X, Y or slave in my particular situation. So you need to undo this. It's just a matter of a hex screwdriver in there and undo it. And hold onto this and it will come off. Disconnect the cable, of course, first. From here on in, it's pretty easy. Next thing we need to undo the lock that holds the cam in position. So we undo this, and then we can use a 17 millimeter spanner to release the cam back. Once you've released the cam, then we need to release these guys here. There's four bolts actually hold the motor onto the plate. Undo them maybe one turn each, and then you'll find that this all can slide together and you can take the belt off. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to undo this guy. And there's the same uh, Allen key. And we'll take this off and replace it with a new one. Careful you don't lose this washer. It's got to go back on when you put the new pinion gear on. Right. I've already done it. Pretty easy. This is the old gear and you can see it's worn a little bit there. This is the new gear and it looks really clean and accurate. Always a good idea to put a little bit of grease on it. Not a lot, just a little bit of the grease that they supply with for the linear bearings. And that should be fine. Then it's just a matter of doing everything in reverse. You put the belt on, you tension the belt by that cam there, the 17 mil spanner, push this direction and that will push the uh, motor away from this gear. When you got it to the right tension, hold it in position and then nip this back up again. Unlock it and then go around and do all of this, the bolts that hold the motor back onto the mount plate. Pretty easy. From there on, it's a matter of take it back to the machine, use your hex screwdriver, put it back onto the position where it was, pull it up with the, with the spring tensioning bolt here. Remember when you get this finger tight and, and it's as tight as you can go with finger, then get a socket. This is a 13 mil socket, put on the top three rotations. Give the gantry a little bit of a move or the motor a little bit of a move because the pinion gear may not have engaged correctly with the, with the rack. So if you find that it goes clunk, it goes back into the rack, back this off again until you can get it back up finger tight, then do your three turns again. And that's it. Don't forget to home the machine. Well, obviously you've got to plug it back in. Home the machine and away you go, cutting nice and clean. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share. See you next time. Bye. Beautiful.